Hey, Trip Zero here, and I've got finally these lights hooked up to uh, power. Got it water cooling, and you see the water flowing through there. We have a proper radiator heat exchanger, and uh, working fairly well right now. We're pushing 141 watts on this 200 watt driver. Uh, we've got two 30 watt cobs, and the rest are the, re the, uh, the other four are 50 watts. Uh, 20 watt are ideal with this driver because the driving current's only 0 0.7 amps. So 20 watt is the ideal, uh, about six of them, uh, I think. Let's see. No, actually, you can do a lot more than six. Um, but at any rate, um, 20 watt they're ideal because they are fully on at 0 0.7 amps. And I've got my trusty thermal, uh, thermal gun. And we can start reading temperatures of things. So 22 on the reservoir. 24 on the fan. The modules themselves, are, you know, between 40, 32, and 40, maybe. Yeah, this is blinding me. I'm trying. I'm trying to use the camera to like block. The light from my eyeballs. So staying pretty cool. 25, the modules themselves around 30 to 40. And let's check the back of the driver. Sorry, this is like super blinding 24. And let me just feel around. Nothing feels warm. I mean, it's still very just lukewarm. Gotta be careful not to touch like the wires, because that'll give you a good buzz. And check for leaks as well. I did run this prior to this to check for leaks. And yeah, things are getting warm, so I'm going to let this run for a bit and uh, see what kind of temperatures I get. This has only been on for just a few minutes before I started recording, so we'll let it warm up. It's been about 20 minutes and uh, power has actually gone down a bit slightly, a few watts. The reason might be they're running... Uh, more efficiently being being cooled um, but it's doing actually quite well it's heated up let's check it 26 on the reservoir 25 and this is I've been measuring off and on this is what it's been pretty much the whole time 20 minutes and it's not budged the one thing that has gone up is the power supply now, if I would have mounted this differently, say, placed it on the center bar, it would probably be cooled a lot better, especially since these are getting contact with the water blocks and uh, cooling that way. So, as it is, like, the only parts that are being cooled are the parts that are connected to the blocks, which is not much of the surface area. Probably good enough, but, I mean, these things don't typically need to be cooled. Um, But, so that's, that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else I need to, to test with these. I think they're pretty good. What I am going to do is I'm going to flush this. This is just uh, mains water, uh, stuff you get from the water plant treatment center. Uh, so it's about pH 8, and it's uh, got probably some chlorine in it. 
um, and chlorine running through untreated aluminum will cause will create hydrochloric acid which will lower the pH of the water which will cause more corrosion however um, as I understand it as, as water contacts with aluminum which is actually more uh, oxidizes worse than than iron or rusts worse than iron does um, it forms a protective layer between the uh, uh, aluminum and the and the water basically so there's a, a layer of rust in between that that occurs however the lowering of the pH isn't going to help anything so what I'm going to do I'll get some distilled water I'll flush this out and I'll probably get some about a liter of CPU cooling liquid which is uh, or antifreeze perhaps um, it won't cool as well it has lower thermal capacity than water because water is like the best but it'll last about three years I won't have to worry about algae developing or any type of microbes developing in the water during that time so um, I think it'll be a better long-term solution than water so with that um, done with this project I'm gonna go hang this up in the bathroom uh, perhaps I'll show the finalized product in a video if that interests you um, let me know in the comment section and uh, that's it trip zero out